Welcome back everybody to the Zeus Daz Unemulated Retro Game Channel. I go by the name of Zeus and I bring you another shit game time video review. And this time we're going to tackle and flush down the Poochie Forever, a complete dog turd on the Amstrad CPC. And that is Human Killer Machine, the fake sequel to Street Fighter 1 by those beloved publishers, US Gold, created by Turdy Teatex. The name makes me want to vomit my bottom um yeah this is all i greet you game over press fire same as street fighter one they didn't learn did they they didn't give a shit they just bring this crap out so this is a sequel to street fighter 2 it fucking well wasn't i wonder if they pitched it to capcom if they did they probably would have slammed the door straight in their face it's that bad um yeah I, I did a shit game time of it some time ago on the amiga version which in fairness had me laughing in stitches because of the the characters that you fight are just beyond ridiculous i mean you would take on a fucking dog and a full-size bull for christ's sake plus there's a transvestite in there as well oh my goodness me. Uh, i'll put a link in that actually at the end of this video so you can check that amiga review out uh, it's one of those shit game times i was laughing my bollocks off but anyway, this is a shit game time paid request by William Harrison, YouTuber William Harrison. Hello, mate. Thank you very much for your request. You put quite a few in, which is great. So I'd like to just say to everyone else, please bring them forward. If you've got any shit game times you want to put through, video will pop up at the end. Uh, put a link in the description as well. Uh, you can do that. Just select the game you want and um, all payments proceeds will continue to go towards Snoopy's My Dogs. Um, TPLA operation recovery. So there you go, there's a little bit more incentive for you. It's all going on a lovely Labrador Pucci. Um, anyway, let's get on with this dire fucking insult of the game. Uh, press fire, yes, whatever. Quan is strong, yeah. So they've taken the rear out and they've put him as Quan. And the front cover of the box has got this commando type guy with a knife. And you're not even controlling him. Look at that. Now, I will say the background, like the Spectrum version, the background is drawn very nice. It's quite, it's quite pretty. It's nice, nice background that is. It's quite detailed. I quite like that. But the game, again, it has the same issue with the sixteen bits. The the time delay. You you, from. Yeah, the time delay from actually punching. And now he can reach you, but you can't. The play area is so tiny. Sure, it'd be a lot easier, mate, to fight without a bloody gun in your hand. We got him. Just keep bloody low. Oh, he's got me. It's the same game engine as Street Fighter One. Awful, slow, sluggy. The Street Fighter One on the Amstrad was horrendously slow and awful uh, colours chosen for that game. We had two versions on the C64. And the Spectrum version, apart from being monochrome, which you could change your colours actually by pressing the C button on the keyboard during the game. That was quite detailed and it moved really fast. I was quite impressed with the speed. It just didn't have any AY music. It ruined it like this. This has got no music in the game at all, apart from the title page. And what pisses me off about this game more than anything is you just can't get to these fucking characters. They've got a much bigger um, range in you. They take more energy off, off you than... See, uh, you can't get at him. Yeah, it's just bollocks, and this is the first level. That's a crap. And look at that scoreboard, as if anyone's going to score that bloody many. That's it, coward in the corner. You just have to keep jumping. Come on. Yeah, he's trying to... Oh, and the way the character slides on the floor, it just suddenly moves without you moving him. Let's see if I can do it again. No, see, I can't. Look at how much energy this guy takes off you. It's fucking ridiculous. Look, this is level one. This is ridiculous. 
£9.99 I believe they sported a £9.99 release just gonna slowly yeah that's just yeah straight in the corner and just yeah you're just gonna sit on the floor shall I do that I can't do that because he he's got a much bigger reach than I have see oh, look, I'm almost dead already absolutely ridiculous absolutely fucking awful terrible terrible is that it? I've got another life. What's the point? I can't fucking get near him. Oh, what a surprise. Yeah, you just slide on the floor. It's terrible animation. The only could think reasonable about this is the background. It's drawn very nicely. Can't really go in and out because he's just got such a longer reach. Can I actually get a round from you? Probably not. Look, there we go. Look at this. Oh, bollocks. Fuck you. That's ridiculous. Laughably bad. Laughably bad. Try again. I ain't going to be playing this long, I can tell you, William. Um, I knew what I was getting in for. Into. I, I, I knew. And his energy goes up quicker than yours as well. I mean, look at his energy. I'm taking all this. That was a terrible um, thing to do. I don't recall any other game like that unless you have to waggle the joystick where you can get your energy up. Your enemy's energy is constantly climbing. See, if you look at the top right, you'll see his energy bar rising. And look at the size of the hits that this guy does on me. I can't... Oh, this is ridiculous. Well then, I ain't fucking moving. Bollocks to you. You're just going to keep doing that, are you? Two frames of animation. What a load of cack. Now look at his energy. Let's see if mine goes up. No, mine ain't going up. Look at that. Mine, mine isn't, but his is. Is mine going up? No, mine hasn't moved at all, and his energy is building up. How fucking fair is that? And he's got a gun in his hand. I just ain't going to get past this level. I, I ain't going to be able to do it. I ain't gonna be able to do it, William. I can't. It's just impossible. It's just unplayable piece of cack. Unplayable piece of cack. Look at that. It's taken half my fucking energy off me already. Again. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Collision detection is absolutely non-existent. See, there's no point going in and out because by the time you've gone out again, he's taken his energy's built up again. Absolutely fucking rubbish. Ridiculous. Oh my word. Zap. Pow. What are we doing? We're playing Batman and Robin, are we? Pow, zap, wallop, smash, boom. You know, it's, it's cartoon comic stuff, isn't it? Look, it just sits on the floor with that flipping gun. Fucking rusky. Come on. Zap. Zap. Pow. Zap. He's not, you know, it's not a laser gun, is it? No, this is just ridiculous. An absolute joke. An absolute joke. Hell, you tear text. You had no clue, did you? The only good thing I will say about tear text is, um,. There was someone there, I don't know who it was, who showed a little bit of talent. Um, for their work on the... 
any Commodore 64 games they did tended to have pretty good music. In fact, this had pretty good music in Commodore 64. So there was someone that knew how to do the C64 music. But wasn't there anyone there at all that knew how to do bloody Spectrum and Amstrad music, AY? Because most of their games had no music at all on the 1 to 8K versions. No, there's some type of music on here. I can't remember if the Spectrum version contains the music as well. But Street Fighter 1 definitely didn't. 720 definitely didn't. I don't think Rolling Thunder did as well. I don't think any of them had music. It was like no one knew how to program the fucking AY sound chip. If you put music on Street Fighter 1 on the Spectrum, I think, to make it 1 to 8K version, I think that was all right. Yeah, the, the AI of the characters were a bit dim, but they were drawn quite well, detailed. They moved very fast. There was no, All the moves have been taken out. They're just these special moves. They probably didn't even fucking have a clue there was any in the game. Um, but yeah, their their 16-bit versions of games were just will go through life on the infamous uh, tag. They really didn't have a clue there. Probably US Gold say, hey, yeah, yeah, it's 300 quid. Could you? Yeah, that'll do it. We have no fucking idea what we're doing. We don't know what to do, but yeah, we'll do it. And US Gold say, no, that's all right. Just come up with something and we'll sell it. No problem. There's no laws to say it's got to hit, reach a certain quality meet a certain quality before we get sued. None at all. God, this is utterly pointless. Utterly pointless. I can't even get past level one. It's ridiculous. Um, absolutely can't. I'm not playing this again, William. And can you blame me? This is dreadful. I thought the 16-bit versions were bad, but this is fucking terrible. Um, let's shit rate this right now. Um, the only good thing about this version is, as I said, well, the one background I've seen looks pretty well drawn. Collision detection is shite, no special moves. Bang, wallop, wallop smash, boom, zap, pow. What a load of cack an idea that is. And there's no in-game music. The play area is extremely small. The choice of colours is questionable to the point you have to turn your TV colours down because you're going to get a headache. Um, that's the only part of the title screen there is cheap it is a street fighter one fucking engine ripoff knockoff so and it's a 9.99 price tag um fucking believable so no wonder you bastards we can't find much on you bastards you never seem to put your names down for these games it was programmed by or programmed by and everything else it's always unknown but if you do revision enough you know they were um no fucking idea and you've still again earned what's coming up now because I think I've said it in one of my older videos I actually went to the trouble to reach out to you fuckers I sent a letter I even had to type it because you've got no email apparently you're in business how the fuck that happens I, I, I don't know how that is it's beyond me but no email no fucking the only thing I do is find an address with both your fucking names on it so I sent a very polite letter reaching out to you and say, hey, let's be honest, your games were really, really bad. Of course, I wanted to say something else, you know, but I was trying to be nice. Really, really bad. Uh, maybe you'd like to, here's a chance to, you know, to say what your side of the story is, because nobody seems to have done a review of you and why your conversion was so fucking dreadful of arcade games back in the 80s. So, you know, I went out and reached out to you. I got no fucking response at all. Left my e left two emails. I mean, you could have just replied and said, sorry, blah, 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 I don't work here anymore, or whatever. Nothing. You had a chance to come out and say, look, this was it. Defend yourselves a bit, because you have a look on Wikipedia. If this video, please, if you know the guys that do tier text who run the place, pass this video on to them. And this is me to you, calling you out. It's all over Wiki. You only got to type it up, tier text on Wiki. You are f uh, forever known for the worst fucking poobishes programmers ever on the 8-bit and 16-bit conversions. You had no right, no place in gaming history. Uh, you'll be remembered for all the wrong reasons. Shite conversions beyond belief. Um, but as I said, you never came forward. You had your chance to say, hey, yeah, this is what's going on. Two sides to each story, right? But you didn't want to know. So this is because of that. I shit rate it now, and it's going to be a great big... I'm going to give that 91 shit. And this bit is also for you for not coming back to me. And I'll always do this because I take it a little bit personally. Um, especially when you did Street Fighter 1. And I'll get to that in a minute. So let's bring this up. And this is just for you.
there you go that's just for you guys at Teartex. directed straight at you on behalf of all the kids back in the 80s that grew up with all their 16 and 8 bit games and you ruining their fucking Christmases and birthdays from the shite conversions you did you got no excuse you had no place whatsoever in gaming history um, you always go down as the worst one of the worst uh, groups for uh, programming games ever I don't care if you were nine years old it was shit um, and that is my direct to you because as I said what you did to Street Fighter 1 was fucking blasphemy to the point I went out and bought the arcade game that was my way of putting these middle fingers up to you back in the day I bought the arcade you think you weren't going to break my fucking heart so I got the actual arcade machine of Street Fighter 1 but uh, yeah that's you 91 shits for human care machine on the Amstrad CPC and rightfully so some of you probably say I should have given it even more um, but most 8-bit games don't reach a hundred because you know 16 bits do because there's no excuse there's a lot more memory you can do a lot more things but not the 8 bits but anyway 91 shits for um human killer machine stupid fucking name stupid game crappy fucking game engine just like the same one you use for street file one no excuse fuck you tier Techs, on behalf of all the programmers and if any of you like tier Techs, i have no doubt you are family members of them or you're an ex-employee um whatever that's fuck you to you too that's it for me this edition of shit game time thank you very much again for joining me on it uh video will pop up now for you to uh, either choose three more random videos to check out or to place your requests and as i said all proceeds all donations or five pounds for the shit game times will continue to go towards snoopy's um recovery until next time zeus out of shitsville